Alright, hey guys, welcome back to episode whatever of Golden Sun. This is episode 18, maybe, I think. I don't know. Um, okay, so, just a little forewarning. This episode is not going to have any Kalei at all, except for grabbing one particular gin. In fact, just so I can show you the synergy right off the bat, or not the synergy, the uh, summon right off the bat, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to talk a little quieter today. Just because my dad literally just yelled at me for being too loud somehow. I'm all the way upstairs, but you know, whatever. Upstairs, like two closed doors and a stairwell, and he's downstairs listening to music, and somehow me talking above a dull whisper is loud enough, but. Anyway, so here's a gen. We'll go ahead and grab it. And then we'll scoot on out of the town. Man. Being a, uh, getting a Mars gen attuned to you looks like it must hurt. <laughs> okay. So, if you remember way early in whichever episode it was, I don't care what episode it was, like episode 4 or 3 or... I don't know. I might throw an annotation up, I might not. Anyway, uh, th this br the, whichever one it was before we went into Vault, this bridge was out. Um, so, it's not out anymore. <laughs> so, uh, they went ahead and fixed it. So if we go up here, up here... Oops. Obliterate these two mushrooms. Just, just, just. Just <laughs> turn these guys to dust. Ugh. All right. So, look, it's vault. <laughs> look at that. All right. So if you remember the puppy, right? We give the uh, the dog a bone, and he moves. Oh, yeah, he moves somewhere. So if there's one thing that we need to. So remember what I said about hexagons, right? There's a thing there, and if you remember that uh, the desert, there is always a thing hidden in a hexagon of the stones. But first things first is first we do this. Now he's now he's gone and moved somewhere, so it's all good. And then we'll go into that dungeon. There's one thing in this this dungeon that I really really hate, and I'll point it out to you when I get there. But down we go to Vault Cave. Are you a mimic? I think you're a mimic. You're probably a mimic. You're a mimic. <laughs> we'll just auto, we'll just attack this guy down, and it won't be it won't be that hard. Oh, cripes. Uh. Okay. We'll probably be fine. I was, I was, I, I was not expecting that at all. I mean, oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's dead. All right, sweet. Mine is now level 18. Okay. That was, uh, terrifying, actually. <laughs> Alright, so now we got some gargoyles. We'll see how many attacks a gargoyle takes. Three. Four. Ah, 
five. Okay. Five and a bunch of them were crits. This place is gonna be a little tough. At least they don't do a ton of damage. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Centered it on Isaac, probably. Alright, there you go. Well! That was, uh... Uh... That happened. Okay. So the way this this uh, dungeon works is there's these gates like this, right? I hate this dungeon so much. Alright. Oh, sweet. Let's just do some vulvind. Get the shit out. You're not a mimic, you're probably like a Ooh, Ambrace. That's actually a neat item. Alright, we'll use this mint on... Screw it, we'll use it on... What? No, 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 no. Give that to... Isaac. Because he's the one who does all the heavy hitting. Equip your armlet again. Alright, cool. So yeah, good thing we went here, right? Um, um. <sighs> Alright, cool. Frost that up. Oops. Frost that up. Here we go. Let's get through a bit of that. And here we go. But remember those flames that we were dealing with before? See the water frowling from the ceiling? What do you think's gonna happen? And do you think it's gonna be fun? The answer to both of those is no. Or wait, no. Only one of those was the answer to the question. <laughs> okay, oh dear. Ravager. Well, let's try not to get ravaged. Oh, okay. Well, that that that, that works out. Damn. All right. Yeah. All right. I could not. Damn it. Ugh. Oh. All right. So. I totally had a thing that I was going to say in all this. Okay. The thing I'm going to say right now is, fuck these guys. Oh, sweet. I unlocked Gaia. I'll show you that. Oh, wait. No, you, you you saw that when the, uh, those guys used it on me. I'll just use it anyway because it looks awesome. Doesn't do a ton of damage, though, but what do you expect? I saw her. All right, sweet, actually. So that's that's enough to kill them all. Too quickly. That's good. I literally have no idea where I'm. Oh no. Anyway. Okay. So. Christ. I hate this place.
guess this place isn't too bad if you just... Oh god! If you just wait, right? There we go, now it's open. Was that literally just a shortcut? Oh yeah, that was that was actually a place that I needed to get through later. Screw you, Ghost Mage. Actually, Ghost Mages look awesome. What's up here? This is this is one of those places that I get totally lost in. So, oh, okay. Just going entirely the wrong direction. Alright, so, quick battle. We'll just screw these guys. Let me just throw a signer to get them, I guess. Oh, someone learned something. I didn't notice. Okay, here's a button we press. Alright, so that all funneled out. Oh, screw you guys. Alright, let's get out of here. Now uh, you'll notice, maybe. Actually, no, you won't. That area is now flooded, so we can't go there. Of those. Oh, sweet, a bramble seed. Those things are cool. That's another get out of there. Now he wants to go there. Be very glad that I'm speeding all of this up. I not falling to this place. The other dungeon, though. I like the other dungeon. You like the other dungeon too, I think. Okay, but now we get to go here, which brings us to here. Right, so now we're here. Wanna know the worst part? Now I gotta go all the way back. At least we get sap. Sap's cool. Let's mess with some gin right now. I Okay. So I need a little more stuff on him. On a big game. Alright, so now to get out of here, it's a real pain, because that's our new entrance for that part. I'm going to skip a bunch of this.
Okay, well. <sighs> Screw you guys. Here we go. Okay. Now we're out. And now we never have to come see Fault again. Although, since we're here, let's go here. Huh? I hit somebody, so they put me in here. What I did was stupid, wasn't it? Yeah, no kidding. Let's read your. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's mind read your mind. I need to learn to control my temper. Oh, by the way. Where is the, uh, brigands? <laughs> Sex of Mare. Oh, Isaac, you've come back to Fultz. Ever since you've left, all sorts of crazy things have been happening. It seems he's... Uh, they escaped? No, I can't say I've run into them. Oh, that's good, okay, well. I'm sure we'll run into them eventually. They're clearly looking for us, I guess. Boy, my legs are cold. The great thing about things like this is that I don't have to wear pants. The bad thing about things like this is when I'm not wearing pants, my butt gets cold. Mm. Rough times. Oh, hey. Do these look familiar? Or there are a bunch of stuff that you can do that to. This one, though? Actually, you can tell. Hold something. I don't think it's anything important, though. Oh, what's here? Some power bread just raises health. Now you recognize this place. And oh. Okay. Well. Wait. Who is that? Is it he? No. The two. Hi, Mom! Isaac? Are you finally home? Have you completed No? <laughs> you haven't, have you? No. No, of course. Have you forgotten your promise? Uh, yes. I... Oh. Oops. Um. No? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Good on you. Alright. Thanks, Mom. Let's read her mind. I'm sorry, it seems so harsh. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Up here, there's still holes <coughs> in the roof, man. I wonder if there's stuff here. Nope, no stuff. Okay. Well, that, that's not what we're here for anyway. But, oh god, fix those holes in my roof, in my uh, room's roof, woman. Hey, lady! Oh, Garrett and Isaac. What happened? You're back already. Oh, already. They said we might never come back. <laughs> now nah, we are just visiting. <laughs> okay. I don't feel like doing Garrett's voice right now, because Garrett's voice gets a little loud. So I won't worry about that too much. Anyway, we're here. 
to go here. So this looks like a rock that we can lift. So let's lift it. Well, you can walk through with me or you can just, you know, say fuck it. Yes, yeah, so those are all movable, but you can't move them. Alright, so time to go to Veil Cave. This place is... I haven't been here in a long while. So, let's... Oh, shit. I fucked that up. I hope it goes back. Okay, good, it's back. Okay. These guys shouldn't be too difficult to kill off, so... Ooh. Ow. Me. Right. And I started to finish him off. That wasn't too bad. Alright, so here's a thing. That's not reveal. That's reveal. Alright. And in case anyone was wondering, no, you cannot stay on that middle one and wait till time runs out. Here is a thing here. I right, cool. right. But you see, there's a gin there. A death cap and a mush. Uh, let's see how many times do I have to hit the death cap? Twice. Armpit! It's a so gross. Barrage! 120. Dang! That's a lot! course, in the second game, or even the third game, I'm liable to get up to, like, 1,030, uh, like, 1,800. But, you know, that's once you get into Megiddo multipliers. Basically, Megiddo, which is the uh, unleash of the Soul Blade, the best weapon in the game, is, like, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You do so much damage. <gasps> oh! I'm sorry to yawn in so much, it's like 11. So. I mean, I'm not really that tired, but. Ugh. These guys are so scary. Okay, so this place, do that, and then do that. Who should I give the thing to? I'll give it to Ivan. That makes sense. That makes the most sense. Okay. So then, I love this because we get to roll it over them. How cool is it? You wouldn't have been able to get past without rolling those two, I guess. Either way, I wonder what would have happened if I had just rolled this one over uh, only one of them. It'd be interesting. To, it's interesting to think about. All right, so we got a gin here. All right. So now we get the halt gem, and this thing's neato. Give that to Ivan and equip that. And we'll use Holt. Holt looks like this. A little sound there. Anyway, so we freak out this guy. He runs away. Ah, okay. Come back here! Uh huh? 
Uh -huh. Get back over here, you little punk. Oh, right. I'll just freeze him in time. Alright, sweet. So now we get Kite. Huh. Ah, there we go. Sweet. Now, I think that's all the gin we can get at this point. Until a little while later. Because I know there's not a gin that we can get. Well, anyway. Let's just lift this boulder. Get out of here. Actually, while we're here, let's catch this nut. There we go. Oh. Dude, look at that house. That's not, I wonder if that's the guy that we brought last time. Now, yeah, we'll worry about it. Nobody here seems happy to see me without Jenna, so... I don't think they care much about Kraden. I wonder if he, if the rest of the town thinks he's creepy or something. Stop. Him and die. Okay. Yeah, so I can just leave this person frozen and then when I talk to him... Dot, dot, dot. And then they get unfrozen. But I'll just go ahead and leave you frozen. Bye, guy. Alright, so the rest of this episode's gonna be uh, walking back to Kele, so... Oh, that's one thing that I'm gonna look forward to in Golden Sun 2, is, or at least later in the game, actually. You know, you don't really get it until it's no longer useful. You literally get it at the last dungeon. Like the last dungeon of the game, <sighs> and then use attacks all of the end game dungeons that are you know post game <sighs> and the like. Mm. Well, you get the idea, I guess. But yeah, that shit, yo. I forget what even what it was. Alright, so here we are in Kayla. Let's have the quest. Thanks for watching. Now, a couple notes is that soonish I plan on uh, getting a new Game Boy Advance game set up for you. One of my uh, and starting on one of my personal favorite series. Um, that we will it's got all it's got like five or six on the Game Boy Advance and then like two or three on the DS, and we're not gonna play the DS ones because they suck. And we're not gonna play any of them after four, because after four they suck. In fact, three is my favorite by far, by far. So we'll just deal with those ones. Um, and well, I I set them up now, but um, I have to set up one of these you know splash things that I've got down here. Ooh, my shirt's a real nice red. There was a real nice red there for a second. Now they're up. Oh, these web cameras, man. What what do you expect? Well, anyway, uh, Denmark represent. But yeah, yeah. Um, actually. So, for those of you that know the weird hats that I happen to have, if I say that. I have a hat that I will be wearing the entire time I played it. And you can you might be able to figure out from that. If not, well you'll just have to see what it is. Though uh 
Gotta play your cards right for it. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I I have no idea what I'm looking off over over there. I mean, that's just my bookshelf. But yeah. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.